Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today, I will try to discuss about a very important topic for bioclimatic variables. How we can easily mapping using the R Studio. So first of all, what is bioclimatic variables? So basically, bioclimatic variables are derived from monthly temperature and rainfall values in order to generate more biologically meaningful variables. So mainly from these bioclimatic variables, we can easily get the different types of parameter such as annual mean temperature, mean uh, diurnal range, isothermality, temperature seasonality. So all of those variables we can easily access from here. You can see all of those list, all of those in here. So temperature, seasonality, max temperature for the warmest month, mean temperature of the coldest month, temperature, annual range, okay. So all of those things we can easily got it from that bioclimatic variables. Okay. So today I will try to show you that how we can easily use the R Studio or R programming language and display the map from the bioclimatic data. Okay. So let's go. So I already opened my code editor. So first of all, I need to import my necessary library. So just to simply import the library. So all of those packages I need to import firstly. So first of all, for importing user the library function and call my library name, I need the gg plot to library. Okay, I simply run this. You can see it will be imported. After that, I also need the another library, roster library. So I simply use here the roster library. So it also imported. There is a no problem. In the mean, lastly, I also need the another library. It's called the reader. And then I also import this library also. Okay, just a minute, do it try there. So, T I D Y R. Okay, so now import that. Okay, so it also successfully imported. So, for that, using the world bioclimatic data set, first of all, I need to import all of those necessary libraries. After that, I need to load data set. Okay, which data set I need to work. So, in this time, I work with for the world climatic data set so for that i take a variable suppose climate you can use any variable name and use at the get data function this data i got from world climb okay so just use at the world climb and then also use at the variation i use at this bio so BIO and I also need to set here the resolution such as resolution is that suppose 2.5 okay so now I simply click the run you can see it successfully worked it means that I successfully imported the world climb data set 2.5 resolution okay in this time basically this data set I got for the whole world but I don't need for the whole world in this time I want to work only for the south America okay so for that what can I do just I simply take the another variable climate and in this variable I simply use here the crop function okay so mainly in this time I define here this climate extent okay so I simply use here the climate again and then use here the extend function extend from minus 28 after that minus 34 after that minus 60 and my finally 15 okay so now i simply put here this data set and now i also need to select which data set you want to work 
so basically bioclimatic variable you can see there is a lot of code you can see for that bioclimatic code b bio 1 it is the mainly annual mean temperature bio 2 it is the mean diurnal range bio 3 is isothermality data set bio 4 is temperature salinity data set okay so in this time i want to work with that precipitation of driest month okay so for that i need to use at the bio 14 or if you want you can also use for the annual precipitation so for that you have to use at the bio 12 okay so bio 12 this code bio 12 is for annual precipitation okay so for that i simply select that how i can select you can simply open the studio code and then simply take a variable roster you can use any variable name there is a no limitation in this variable i just simply call the climate climate data set and from this climate i just select only for the bio 12 okay you can see all of those lists we can get in here from bio uh, uh zero uh, bio you can see all of those list by one two three four five up to total 19 classes and each of the classes each of the code has stored different different bioclimatic variables in this time i talk about that bio 12 so mainly bio 12 stored the information for annual precipitation i can got from the bio 12 okay so now i simply click to run again the code okay it successfully worked and also click to the run okay so now in this time here you can see i just simply imported the bioclimatic bio 12 code mainly this bio 12 code is for annual precipitation suppose you want to work for the another data set such as you can see there's a lot of data set okay you can see mean temperature for one mist quarter mean temperature driest quarter so which data set you want to work simply use at this bio code okay in this time i use at the bio 12 which mention about that annual precipitation okay so after that i import that and already run the code so now in this time i need to import which area i want to work is my study area so for that i put the variable name such as ry you can use any variable name ry i put the ry in this variable i simply call the data set r natural r and from that i need to data set for that countries so use at the any countries after that i need to mention here the continent I want to work for the continent of South America. You can select any specific country or a specific any location you can easily get from here. So just I simply put here this South America. Okay, in this time, this is my study area, South America. After that, I need to mention here that SF. Okay, so I use here the return class. Return class will be s f so now click to the run okay there is a no problem so in this time i want to plot my study area of south america so just use here the plot function and call the variable name is that roi so now click to the run so now it display the study area about that south america so you can see i can get the plot about that okay so now from this plot I want to show for this region of interest uh, what is the annual precipitation. Okay. So for that, what can I do? I just need to many variable. Suppose I put the variable name is that R A S. So you can see you are already showing all of this information about the R S when I put that. It will showing the longitude, longitude, and also showing the bio 12 is mainly annual precipitation. We can get here the annual precipitation in this time i simply use here the rsdf function take a variable name rs rsdf that 
I make a dictionary, I make a table, data format, so for that make a variable and put here the as dot data frame, I put the raster, so put here the raster, basically this is my variable name raster, okay, and put here the x, y, x, y, use here the true function, so just I use here the true function. And after that, I simply use here the drop any function for manipulating this data. So for that, use here the part sentence and also use here the greater than sign and also part sentence. And use here the function is that uh, drop any. Okay. So now it manipulated. I simply run the code and after that, I simply show the head all of those data set so call here the rasdf this variable so now click to the run in this time it's showing that you can see x y and also showing that all of those bio 12 means that it's showing the data about that annual precipitation for the different time we can get in here for the annual precipitation so now i want to plotting the data okay so in this time this annual precipitation this data set I want to plot. So how I can plot? I help the ggplot2 function. Okay. So for that, I simply use here the ggplot this function. After that, use a plus sign. Okay. So in this time, I use a function. This function called the geo geom raster. Okay. So mainly it display the raster from this data set. And I mainly I use here the AES so construct the estimate the mapping I use here then mention about this uh, x and y value so just I simply use here the x equal to x and also y equal to y okay and then with that I want to work so I simply use here the fill fill with so just I simply use here the fill fill with bio 12 okay so mention at the bio 12 because i want to work with for the bio 12 so in this time i again explain about that code i simply use at the ggplot okay and i add with the genome raster function and use at the aes then use at the x equal to x even and y equal to y and fill with the bio 12 data set okay so after that what can i do just i simply use here this comma sign and data equal RSDF. Simply copy and paste. Okay. So then I simply close the parenthesis. Okay. So now I can simply click to the run. So then we can see what the result we can got in here. So it working, you can see. Okay. So in this time, it displays the result about that annual precipitation, but this result is not meaningful. Okay. So in this time, we can also meaningful this result and also use at the uh, different color combination. Okay. So for that, I can simply use here this another function. Okay. This function is that call the geom sf this function and I put here the fill equal transparent use at the transparent I simply put the transparent and after that I simply put here this data equal ROI this is my variable name ROI okay so now I also click to the run and check about the result, what type of result you can get in here. Okay, so now you can see we can get also get the proper map about that. And in this time I also put here the another thing is that uh, SQL fill varieties. So for that I can simply use here the SQL.
okay so then i simply use at this unit is the millimeter for year okay and i also put here this uh, direction negative one direction negative one so now click to the run again Okay, so now we can get the proper visualization of this map you can see here so mainly in this time uh, it this type of color showing the high annual precipitation okay so we can easily add this uh, this is the high annual precipitation okay and this color identify the low annual precipitation okay so this is the one data set i show you the wa world climate data set uh, for the bio 12 mainly it's the pre precipitation and I use it only for the specific boundary South America. But using the same approach, you can easily show the data set for any region. For any specific country, a specific region, we can easily get the bioclimatic different types of variables and also mapping. As well as if you want, you can also add here that uh, list a uh, title about this map. So just for that, we need to add here the levels. So just I simply copy the same code for adding the level. Simply copy all of those things from here and add with these levels okay so now finally i also run the code okay i run the code again for full code again i run okay so now it also showing that all of those title subtitle list and title okay A specific longitude latitude all of those things we can get in here okay so basically this is the process how we can easily handle the bioclimatic variables okay so using this same approach you you can easily do for the mapping for any region for any bioclimatic variables you can see all of those bioclimatic variable list we can easily find in here okay you can easily get from here and you can easily create the map using the r studio okay so i hope this video will help you for you so that uh, you can easily learn for that how we can easily handle the bioclimatic variable using the R Studio. Okay. So further, uh, if you want to join my online training program for the upcoming online training program in Google Earth Engine. So basically this class will be start from the 11th August. And uh, if you want to join in this time, you can get the 50% discount because only five registered people get the 50% discount. So now discount seat available is the only for the two seat. Okay. We take the total seven days online training program class will be held only for the friday and saturday in a week as well as this class duration is the three hours okay each day we provide the three hours this is our time period gmt plus six okay and uh, if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact with this whatsapp number and contact with this email so basically this online training program only for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the programming who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine Anyone can easily join this online training program and easily learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level and apply their knowledge in the GIS and remote sensing work. Okay, so I give you all of this information in the video description. If you want to interested, just simply check. And if you want to join this online training program, you can also get the some benefits such as you can get the course e certificate after submitting all of those assignments. You can get all of those materials, slide, PDF code, practice code. You can get all of those things. You can get the recorded video class also and this is the very important for that lifetime teaching support when you face any problem you can easily get the support from my institution for any types of gis and remote sensing problem okay so i will add all of this information in this video description if you want to join this upcoming online training program with 50 percent discount as soon as possible just contact with this whatsapp number and contact with this email then you can easily get all of this information and you can easily join okay so today is no more stay safe and stay happy thank you for asking that